Wizard. Hi, I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Today I want to talk to you about the deck and wood stain uh, that we have, our Deck Restoration Plus deck and wood stain, and seeing it being applied and in use. A lot of times we see before and afters, we see the end result, but it's kind of nice to do a video where we're actually using the product and you see how we do it and what we're doing. And there's different methods and ways we can do it, and you'll see that. So as we look here, we have some new wood and old wood as a new, new decking was added to the old decking here, and we want to stain this. Now, people say, well, how can you make new wood look like old wood? And technically, you really can't, but there are some things you could do to make it match a little better if you wanted to. For us, we're using Burlington Gold here. The Burlington Gold brings out a nice gold-rich color. You don't see as it goes on, it looks a little brownish as it dries, as you can see up closer to the home, that it's a, a golder color. Uh, and what we do with the Burlington Gold is it's our natural, so it really gives it the pressure-treated pine look when it's wet and it has that gold yellowish tone to it. It just looks really natural, that nice shiny wet kind of look. Um, that's what we do here. Now, if we want to, one of the things we could do is take a little bit of our Seneca Brown, maybe mix it like four to one, four Burlington Gold to one Seneca Brown on the new wood and it get it a little closer. Or one of the things we could do is put a coat on the new wood then go and put two coats on everything, and then the new wood would have a third coat also helping make it get a little closer too. There are things you can do to help make it match up, but what you want to do is set the expectation with a customer and let them know that you can't make new wood match old wood. The sun's going to do that in the course of maybe the end of the summer, certainly a year. You can't tell the difference between the new wood and the old wood when you do stuff like this. And we run into this all the time because you know, customers are going to always add to it, whether it's a trellis, a pergola, benches, flower boxes, add additions to the decks, benches, whatever it is. So how do you get those to match up? Set the expectation that you can't make new wood look like old wood, but you do the best you can, and then you start doing things that make, define you and make you better than others. And that's what I'm talking about, where you can interchange any of our products. We have a, co a color called Tabernacle Harvest, and one of the ways we got that is because we mixed our... Uh, Medford Cedar with our uh, Seneca Brown and got this really, really cool color that a lot of people just loved. And that was the development of Tabernacle Harvest. So we mix and match some things. We can custom tint some of that stuff. And like I said, help make the new wood match the old wood. Now, if you look behind me, there's two different methods being done, but they're applying it the same way. I used to do the same thing. I used to always work on my knees down on the deck and I went across the deck, as you can see, one of the guys doing that while the other guys are working with brush, uh, broom handles. But they're all working the same way. Same amount of stain, brushing it in. The stain, if you look, the brushes don't leave the floor of the deck until they need more stain. It's not painting where you're slopping it. You run out the stain, you reapply it, or re, uh, uh, put more, sta more stain on it and then uh, keep applying. And that's what they're doing. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna work all the way across the deck we're gonna do what's called a two, two, uh, two coats wet on wet. There's two ways we could do that. Since we have four guys and we're working across, we can move pretty quickly and go all the way across, come all the way off the deck. It will dry enough, our stain, that you could go back on and come back on with a second coat right away. And that's how we're gonna do this. Now, if it was just me staining this or two people, I would probably do four or five boards. And then before I come back to the next four or five, I do a second coat wet on wet. Okay, and then come and do four or five boards, do a second coat, four or five boards in, second coat, work my way off the deck. But when we have four guys, we can just blow across it and then go back and go over it again. If we get back on this within an hour or so, um, even a couple hours, you're still good. It's going to marry. It's good. It's when you wait a week, it'll repel itself for sure because it all evens out over the course of a day or two. You know, you start looking at it, and you're like, okay, well, there's this, that imperfection here. How's this going to dry? And then all of a sudden, it looks great at the end uh, after a couple of days, which is what a lot of good penetrating stains do. They even out, kind of cure, so forth. Now, I had some uh, seats I did, we did over here yesterday, and uh, they're little bench seats and birds got on the top after we stained them. And all I had to do was go back and put another coat on, reapply. You can't even see the footprints. It married really well, it didn't repel, and that's even the next day. So um, that's what we did. As you can see, there's furniture over on the other side. We staged this where we did the verticals yesterday. We did one section of the deck over there, put all the furniture and stuff up on there so that we could do the rest of the deck today. 
And that's how we did it. Uh, deck restoration plus deck and wood stains, amazing stuff. You can use a sprayer, you can use a brush. Uh, it can, you know, you can wait a, a day if you had to. It can be applied to wet or dry wood. I mean, wet wood, how do you beat that? When I did the bench seats today, they were wet from the dew. Who cares? Didn't make any difference. Um, just a quick wipe and apply another coat. It was not a big deal. And that's the way it really is with the, uh, with the stain. Doesn't change anything. I get a question asked a lot. Okay, if the deck is wet and you apply the stain and then you apply it when it's dry, does one hold up better than the other? The answer is no, they both hold up just the same. Uh, it's almost like when the wood is a little wet or a little damp, as it dries, it's kind of pulling it in a little bit more even. So I feel like, if anything, I would feel like the wet wood gets a little bit longer than, the, than going on dry wood where it dries quicker or closer to the surface, uh, which is typical of any stain though on a, on a warm day. We have the sun out here right now. Um, it's gonna be 85 degrees today. We'll have this done by you know before 10 o'clock in the morning it's still nice and cool we're in new jersey in may it's probably going to be the warmest day of the year um but hey we can get this done and uh no worries sometimes you do these in day parts and you do this early and then you do something else later in the day if this is going to be a really hot day like 90 95 and i was worried about the sun beating on it i'd only work in the morning and i take a break and do it later in the day um, one of the nice things though with all these guys is we can get this whole floor done at one time same temperature, same elements, it should dry real nice and even. You wanna be careful about doing it on different days where it's gonna be 85 and sunny and 75 and cloudy because then it'll dry at different rates and you can notice a difference when they're right next to each other. So that's in any stain. But anyway, I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. A little bit about the deck restoration plus deck and wood stain, seeing it real world, seeing the guys do this and how the product looks and how we apply it and just this is how we do it. So give us a call, order your stain, try it on your deck, and you will see how great the stain is, how well it holds up, and the maintenance, ease of maintenance moving forward is amazing, just like this deck. All it is is a light clean, and then you can recoat. Piece of cake. We just did one for a customer 10 years, never had anything but our Burlington Gold on it. We go out and do the maintenance coat, never been stripped, never had to. Customer's happy as could be. It looks like brand new wood every time out, even 10 years later. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you for buying the products. And if you have any questions, just give us a call, drop us a line, anything you need to. Hit it in the comments, subscribe to the channel. I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Thanks for watching the video.